Hi guys, Dan Hale here, farm manager at Mortimer Moore College Farm. Uh, I'm stood here in the orphan pen. As you can see, there's some lambs behind us. These lambs have become orphans due to a number of reasons. The main reason for us is they've uh, been born into a triplet litter. For us, triplets aren't what we want to send out. User, ewes only have two teats, so they're only really designed to rear two lambs. So in that case, we will take a tup lamb off if there's, if there's one tup lamb, or if there's three ewe lambs, we will take the strongest ewe lamb off and bring her into this pen. Ideally, we would like to be able to adopt lambs onto other mothers. Uh, in that case, it would be a single. So if she's got one lamb, we would try and wet, dot, wet adopt a lamb onto her, and then she could rear two. However, in this case, these are still in here. But for our setup, what works for us at the moment is we've got a smaller pen here. This is where they'll first come. They have a heat lamp in here. They have water and hay. And then they also have these teat feeders. This is an automatic system. So this pen is designed to try and teach them to get onto the teats. And then once I'm happy with them and I'm happy that they're self-sufficient and go to the teat by themselves, they will then come into this bigger pen where they again have fresh water, fresh hay, a lot more room to run around, but they will also have fresh creep. This will just all help with them growing and help their ruminant develop. And then in time, after 35 days, I will wean them off of milk. And then after those 35 days, they'll probably remain in the shed for another week on just hay, water and creep. And then they'll get chucked outside onto some grass with the creep just to help them grow a bit quicker as they don't have the extra nutrition of the milk from the mother. Um, if we have a look at our milk system, this is a heat wave. It allows the milk to stay warm for the, uh, for the lambs at all times. So behind is a bigger, bigger box where we mix up milk for the day. The milk will then remain in there and every evening I will clean it out and top it up. However, the way it works is pipes come from the pot at the back. We then go for a coil system, which is heating water. And then it will come out the other side to these teats where the lambs will then feed. And then they can self feed as they want and they will grow to the best of their abilities as they're constantly being able to top themselves up through the day.